Hey guys, it's Samantha from Samantha's Designs. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you know what to do. If you want to watch more videos on how to make cards or just to be inspired, um, I hope you'll think about it. If you've been here and you are a subscriber, thank you for stopping by and watching the video today. So I'm going to do another three-part series. Did one recently on a particular die and made different types of cards with it, doing a little bit different techniques, what have you. This time I'm going to do it with a stamp and I'm going to use some of my oldie and but goodie stamps that I have in my collection. Use them on new things. Hopefully use them in a different way than I have in the past. And try to, to repurpose them in some ways. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of um, dies and things in my dies and stamps, excuse me, stamps in my stash. But some of them are older and I don't give them out as often because we always want the new shiny things. But I think we should always go back to some of our basics and see what we can do differently with them. So I'm using this. This is only part of it because I, I cut this one up. <laughs> it has other strips. But this is an old Technique Tuesday stamp set that has different border dies. And I'm going to use this one that's kind of like um, a vine with some little leaves coming off of it. And I'm gonna use it in some different ways. So I hope you'll stick around and let's see what we can do with this. And this will be card number one for this this post. I'm gonna make another slimline die because I have things out have things out on my um, desk that I wanted to use like this um, pretty cool slimline uh, die cut out that I have. So I first decided to make a card base that is eight and a half by eight, scored, cut it, I mean, excuse me, scored it at four inches. So this is my base, and I'm just gonna put this right in half, and then give it a good burnish. Okay. <clears throat> this is cut down to, I believe, Um, eight and a quarter by three and three fourths, and this is actually going to be the inside. But I'm going to be stamping on this with the the um, border die. But first, I'm going to take my die cut and put it onto a piece of black cardstock that is exactly the same width. Um, and so let's get this all glued down. I'm using my Elmer's Craft Bond. That is my favorite um, liquid glue, and that's what I use for the most of my gluing when it comes to something I want to use liquid with. I think it works really well. It dries clear. It has a really good bond, um, and the price point is a little better than some of the other brands I've seen out there. And this isn't having a precision tip, but it does pretty well for me. Um, I still sometimes lay down too much glue, just like I always have. But I try to do um, not do that as often as I can. Uh, I'm trying just to get a little bit of glue everywhere, so we have a good. So I'm just trying to get some, even on the outer edges. There we go. Okay. Where are my, get my little handy dandy tweezers. So I can pick this up. And then we're gonna place it right down on this. And the reason I like liquid glue for something like this is you got some wiggle time. And I did cut this exactly the right height and width, so it's going to lay together perfectly. And usually, on something like this, I'm going to put, mm, I would like to get as many, much of a block on this as I can. I think that's not going to work. Let's do this one and this one. 
Okay, I'm gonna let that dry, so I'm gonna set that aside. All right, like I said, this is gonna be the inside panel, and I'm just doing something really simple. I'm just gonna put a little border. I just, you know, sometimes we don't um, decorate the inside of our cards or anything, but some, but you know, to do that once in a while is kind of cool and nice. All right, I'm out of room, so hold on one second. Let me repurpose, get this kind of straight for just a second. All right, we're back. So, um, I got my stamping platform here. And I'm kind of lining up my stamp here at the edge. This is not going to be as straight as I would like for it to be just because the stamp is curving somewhat and I don't know how to In reality, I don't think it makes a whole lot of difference. Okay. I am going to use just some black ink on this. So I'm using some Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'm going to ink this up. It's amazing how these stamps that you've had forever... They still work really well. They do great. They stamp wonderfully. But you forget about them, you know? You forget they're in your stash. And this is why I use a stamping platform. I don't think this was a, the best um, impression I've ever gotten. So stamp it again and add it one more time. That's how you deal with that. See, that's much crisper and very nice. So this is going to be the inside of the card, like I said. I think I'm going to add my sentiment in here. I know that's typically not what's done anymore. We tend to put them on the outside. And I'm going to use the Celebrate Life sticker pack. These are fold and they're clear. So whatever is going to take out whatever colors behind it. But I really like these. Um, this is the Paper Studio. So I think this is from Hobby Lobby. Let's see what we got here. And for the Slimline Climbers, I like using these long ones because I don't have any else. Or any other way, excuse me, <laughs> to use these. Be true to who you are. Find beauty in the ordinary. Remember, this is more of a scrapbooky thing. Dreams come true. These are the days to remember. And life is an adventure. Mm, let's do the be true to who you are since it's up here. Okay. And I'm going to try just to get this as straight as I can. Let's be honest. Oh, I'm not always good at getting things straight. And this is going to prove to be the typical for me. Where is my... could have done better, but it's okay. It's all good. Okay. Now, I did get a little smudge down here, so I'm going to try see if I can get that to, re to come off. I have this little eraser tool. I got this off a of wish. And it does get some things off. It doesn't get everything off. And it's not as nice as some of those eraser, sand erasers I see people have. I do want one of those, but I don't have one. There you go. A little better. I think that's perfect. Okay. All right. Let's put the rest of the card together. Okay. Guys, I lost you for a moment. Sorry about that. All right. I got my Elmer's tape runner here. Let's get this card panel down on the inside of the card.
there you have it. Yay, be true to who you are. Okay, here's the outside of our card. There. Okay, so we're going to do tape runner on this as well. Just to make it really quick. And this is going to be our card front. Let's see if we can get this to center. Okay. Now this is looking a little bit plain. So, hmm, what do we want to add? Let's see what we got in the stash. All right, guys, I got an idea. So I've taken some double-sided adhesive. Put it on the back of this cardstock, and I've got these little butterfly dies. I'm gonna cut out, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with those. So let's run through the machine and get these all cut out. All right, I'm gonna get these all popped out of my dies. Oops, there it goes. I love this one. It is so teeny. Oh my goodness. I have really small hands and even with having little small hands it makes it still hard to get those out. Okay. Now, I have some little bitty things of foil. So we're gonna foil these little, little, little butterflies. I've got this, this kind of, and I want it to be kind of a gold, I think. I don't know if I have enough to get all of those covered. So let's find another one. Okay, that one too. All right. So I keep them together. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get this all this sticky off. And this is the hard part, man. Getting this to come off. Ugh. There we go. All right, I'm going to stick. That was hard. Hmm. Okay. And rub, rub, rub. Rub a dub dub. If you miss places, you can go back over it. All right, that is gorgeous. All right, let's do the other ones. All right, for this one, I think I'm gonna use this because I wanna use this one up. Hope you're having a good day wherever you may be. Okay. Let's get these bad boys rubbed down. Maybe it'd be easier to do it this way because then I know I'm rubbing. Huh. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Let's get everything out of the way. Bring our card back in. And I think I'm just going to do these. 
let's see, do I want kind of want to, I was thinking about like one, but then that leaves that kind of. Do I like that better? I think I kind of do. Okay, so I'm gonna bend these just a little. Where's my glue? I just had it. I lose things on my desk. Do you lose things on your desk? I do that all the time. I'm not going to get too particular about it. I'm just kind of going to randomly put these down. And I'm going to, even after the glue dries, I'll come back and bend these again. Okay. And then once again, I'm going to put a block on that and let them stick. All right, we'll be back when the glue's dry. Okay, let's see how our little butterflies are looking. And I wanna them, bring them up a little bit, just make them look like they're coming up off the page. Oh. Okay, and then let's add a little bling because why not? Some of these faceted gemstones. And I'm going to put those here. And I'm going to use one of each size. Oh. Where'd I go? My oh, there it is. Okay. And that is my Slimline card. I had fun making this um, and using our stamp. Okay, so this is card number one. And again, it's using and incorporating this stamp here from Technique Tuesday. And I'll be using this stamp and at least two more cards and I'm going to use them in a little different ways to make them work. But for this card, I used it just as an accent on the inside. Um, I don't think we always remember to decorate envelopes and our cards both on the inside, the inside part of the card. We do really great on the outside. But this one I kept really simple, some pretty little butterflies, um, this lovely die cut and some faceted gemstones. And then on the inside is my greeting that was very simple. And then just the um, stamp down the side as an accent. Okay, thank you so much. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.